fancy cloth diapers. We used these, and they were called diapers. That was it. Everybody had these kind of diapers, which were the plain, um, big, white, you know. Cloth diapers, or you had these, pre-folds. And I had these when I had a diaper service, when I had my son. These came with the diaper service, and they still make very good dust rags. Okay, but I had these when I had my first babies. And for the newborn, you really have to fold it small. So you'd fold it like in half, like so, okay? And then you have to fold it in half again to make it the right size for the baby. And then you have to go like this, like three. You fold it in half and in half again, two. And for the boy baby, the big thick side went in the front. The girl baby, because the way they pee, um, you have to put it here in the back. So this is a girl baby, all right? So go like this, and you just do this. And now you had an undershirt also on the baby. Now the undershirt also got, oops, my pins. The undershirt also got pinned onto the, the diaper. This way, the diaper wouldn't fall down. The undershirt pretty much hold the diaper on if the baby was squirmy and, you know, the undershirt basically held. So you'd be tab pinning it to the undershirt. All undershirts had tabs for the pins. Then, after all this was done, you would put a rubber pants on top. Now you had to make sure you had your finger in there so that you wouldn't prick your baby. You'd prick your own finger first. And I don't remember my pins being so tough, but they were all, these are safety pins. Okay, now, don't go anywhere, baby, because now we have to put on the rubber pants over the diaper. They had to make sure that the rubber pants, of course, this is, baby is really tiny. I mean, too tiny. But you had to make sure that the rubber pants fit snugly over the diaper, like so. Okay? And, mind you, though, still, in the morning, when you would get up, the baby usually was soaking wet, the undershirt got wet, the crib sheet would get wet, the bumpers of the crib would get wet, sometimes the blanket, because these really didn't, contain it as well as the new modern cloth diapers do. I don't remember now. Okay, so <laughs> then <laughs> in the diaper service I had this type of, um, well these are newborns and I actually didn't even have newborns but they were small like this and then for my son, I fold them at threes, they were much easier because you didn't have to do all the other folding. And then you put that like that and like so, very easy. They also make very good dust cloths. <laughs> I went and bought myself some recently for dust rigs. They're good for polishing the furniture. The safety pins I did a little bit better, but my hands were younger in those days. And I find them difficult, but then again, I don't <laughs> pin all the time, so. Yeah, so. I'm sure that has to okay. do with it. Okay, I think I might have had a locking pin. I'll use, these are the locking safety pins. They kind of have a, where you push down on it. And I kind of remember doing that motion. Yeah. Okay. I think they've been a, around for a while, the drips. Yeah. Okay, so then what you would do is you'd have, for instance, a piece of fabric from the baby's undershirt sticking down like a tab. Oh. So you'd catch this and take the tab of the undershirt also. Oh, and catch it in and with catch the catch it in with the safety pin like that. Well, that's really interesting. So that... You'd have the diaper, I don't want to stick the baby, and the undershirt all pinned together, okay, and then locking, all right? Okay. So that the undershirt, the diaper wouldn't fall off because the undershirt would hold it on, okay? And then you would also put the diaper, the little pants on the baby. And another thing we did was we had on top of the dresser, and this was a big gift item that people would buy you, it was always a little tray with there would be three glass jars, and one of the jars would have cotton balls and maybe Q-tips, um, I don't know, cornstarch or something you might use on the baby's bottom. You know, but there were always three little glass jars. Maybe one of them you might have the tins. Do you use okay. cornstarch a lot? Uh, sometimes we would use cornstarch, yeah. Mostly Johnson's baby powder. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, and desitin. That was a big one mm. in our day, desitin. 
Uh, but anyway. How about Vaseline? I remember Jose's grandma no, like no, gave me a huge Vaseline. jar of Vaseline. I, didn't use Vaseline. I heard no. I heard it was not good, but no, I, I didn't use Vaseline. I used baby powder not a lot. Then I heard it wasn't so good after a while for babies, so we stopped using baby powder. You know. Um, oh, the care of the diapers. The baby wets, okay? Take off the rubber pants. You put them, We everybody had a diaper pail that we kept in our bathtub. A wet pail? A with, wet pail. With uh, water uh, in it? Well, yeah. with water in it. And yeah. also a little bit of bleach. I kept mm. a little bit of Clorox and cold water. And I would take the diapers right out off the baby. I would, of course, if they had, you know, um, the number two, whatever dunk it in the toilet, you know, get everything off, and then I would put it in the, rinse it in the sink too, make it like it was almost clean, and then put it in the wet, di the diaper pail filled with cold water and bleach mm, until water. we had enough to do a load of water. That was it. And then, you know, the diapers wouldn't really smell because, you know, I mean, they, granted, they, the ammonia didn't have time to, like, take effect. It would be counteracted by the bleach and the, and the, uh... Mm, because you put them right yeah, in the bleach, put right? Put them right away. in the bleach yeah. immediately. Oh. And then on wash day, you just use your rubber gloves and you, you know, take them all out and just put them, pop them in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Bring them out, you know, from that pail into the tub, dump the water, bring the whole thing back into your, you know, your laundry room. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And then in the winter... We didn't have a dryer where I lived in the apartment. Mm. So in the winter, we would take the, the diapers and hang them on the clothesline. I climbed out on my fire escape <laughs> and hung the diapers flats like this, one after another, and I spread them out so they would really dry. Yeah. Even when it's 30 degrees or 20 degrees, they would freeze sometimes. Wow. And I would take them in, they were like stiff like boards, <laughs> and then I would throw them over the radiators oh. where they would defrost. Smart. And also, they moisturize the rooms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they would defrost enough and dry <laughs> enough to where you could put them on the babies. Yeah. So I never had a dryer. I did a lot of ironing. Um, so you ironed I, your diapers? I didn't iron my diapers. Oh, no. no okay. I did iron a lot of the clothes because a lot of the clothes, none of the clothes, very few of the clothes were permanent press. I had corduroy clothes for my girls, like overalls and dresses, corduroy was a big thing. A corduroy fabric, yeah. And it would get all wrinkly, and I would just press that on the wrong side, but I ironed almost oh, yes. everything. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Everything but diapers. diapers. No, we didn't iron diapers or undershirts. Oh, cool. We just took Thank you very much, Grandma. Thank you, baby mom.